Welcome back, guys. We're in the beautiful state of Connecticut at our buddy's house, infamous Legends Geo. He just picked up this brand new 992 GT3 RS, and he would like us to scan it and make some parts for it. I'm not saying that Porsche didn't do an incredible job with the design and functionality of the car, but there's obviously everyone has different opinions on things and want different features in a car. So we're gonna unpack the scanner, set it up, throw a bunch of dots on this car, and then get into it. So got our scanner out. Let's move this thing over here and grab some power. <laughs> So what we did with this little mobile unit, we have a main power in, so it just powers up our rack in the back. This is a USB wire. We have our little USB and HDMI port right there. Again, very mobile friendly. Try to keep this as simple as possible. I keep the scanner separate in that box it came with. A, because it's on wheels as well and it'll keep this lighter. And B, because if I wanna use this on a different computer, I could just plug right in. I don't need to use this PC. We're using this PC dedicated to mobile because it's got good um, internals for processing these scans because sometimes this data gets rather big and processing time on the computer takes forever, so. Again, mobile, fast, efficient. I want to scan the whole car, but there's so many dots to put on and take off. So maybe we'll just stick to scanning the parts we want for now because it's very dirty and I'm sure this car will be in a shop, in the shop again once it's cleaned up. So we have that area, we're probably gonna work with this area a little bit. Maybe we'll scan the front lower bumper. This I want to scan, but it's easier to scan it when this is removable. So when the boys are doing whatever they're gonna do to this car, then that'll be the opportunity of when we jump on that. Um, so we're gonna start with there, probably gonna do this area and this area. So we're getting a decent portion of the dots on the, on the car. Sometimes you don't know if you put enough, so I'm gonna be a little more, a little more generous with the amount of dots. It looks all right. I guess we'll find out when we start scanning. After we scan the outside, take all the dots off and move to the interior of the car. I have a few places that I want to scan. We'll look at that later and we're going to get started with this. So right now I'm just seeing the preview, making sure the dots are getting picked up. And then I think we could start scanning. All right, so it was way too bright in here. So we shut the, the overhead hexagon lights off and now we got much better data. Even though it's set that it's gonna be a reflective surface, I think the light from above was altering the laser. Or not altering, it just it wasn't picking up the lasers. <laughs> So for those that haven't seen the Corvette video, um, this is our little mixture. It's um, courtesy of Function Fabrication, Austin. He told me to mix isopropyl alcohol and baby powder and you get a nice satin finish in white. So that way the lasers can get picked up. The reason for the isopropyl is that it evaporates fast and then what's left is just the baby powder. Easy cleanup and it smells good. It's so hard to get that inner part I'm trying to get the top right corner of this air duct. If you look on the screen, it's not fully processed in that area. And it's such a dark spot. So I'm really, really just trying to focus the attention on that. Man, this one's tough. You know what? We might have to do a rapid scan on this one. The lasers are getting hidden in the black area. I don't know if I want to hit this with rubbing alcohol, but. We're gonna do it anyway. Really 
really need the dots so the scanner knows where to go. So if you have to get this inner edge, you're not just putting dots on here, you're putting dots outward. So that way the laser can pick this up, you move your hand over here, and then you can start working your way this way and getting the inside of this part. And we just finished up this wing. We got what we needed. And now we're gonna move on to this arrow piece down behind the front left wheel. Then we're gonna go to the front lip and then we're gonna go inside the car. Still a lot to do, so it'll probably take us about an hour and another hour and a half to get everything. And then we'll clean the car up and be on our merry way. So we're gonna finish wrapping up the front lip. We're gonna do a different scan on the interior um, and I'll talk more about that when we're inside the car actually getting ready to scan. So we are going to use rap <laughs> rapid scan on the interior um, where it uses features. Everything's a very matte black, satin black finish. Um, so we shouldn't have a problem with reflections or anything. And then I'm gonna scan the cup holder itself because <clears throat> I wanna get where those, those little like alligator clips are. We just did the rapid scan. As you can see, that was a much faster process because um, it uses features. So there's a lot of features on the interior of a car, so the rapid scan will pick it up easily. So the next one's gonna be these paddle shifters. Um, we're gonna make an extension, and I'm thinking we're gonna have an adapter and then an actual metal extension that comes off of that. So that way it'll keep the metal theme going and it doesn't look cheap. This one's tough. And put it underneath and then I could go from back here and get it while it's down here. We scanned the interior, the center console area as you saw. Now we're gonna scan the back side or the inner part of the factory cup holder one um, because it's got these little prongs to release this. So we wanna see the parameters of these prongs on the object, and then we'll create our own little mechanism to, to do this. I'm sure this piece is one piece with a spring on a fixed point, probably somewhere back here, and that's the only way to release it. So it's a pretty simple mechanism. Um, so we'll try to recreate that, or if not, have something that just slips in and takes out easily, um, depending on where price point is, uh, the complexity of the design. Everything seems to have uploaded to the Google Drive. Yep, shut this puppy down. So we're on our way back. Um, we're gonna jump into the office, pull up some of those files that we just scanned. In our workflow, we already have those documents on that computer uploading live to a Google Drive. So that way we can access files remotely. Like, subscribe, 
comment what kind of projects you think we could do or if you have any ideas yourself we'll help bring them to life and hope you enjoyed we'll see you at the next video